Watch the ball of paper. What? And the magic paper inchworm comes to life. The normal newspaper, I'm gonna ball it up like that. And the sword goes right through my finger. Magically shrinks. Oh! Now watch if I raise the towel up in front of the fire extinguisher, shrinks. How is it so heavy? It's just newspaper. TV.com. What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 magic tricks that you can do right now. Right now. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, I have a really cool trick to show you with this rubber band and this ring. So check out the rubber band, make sure it's normal. Check out the ring, make sure that's normal. Okay. Nothing tricky about either of these items, correct? No. So I'm gonna take the rubber band and I'm gonna twist it on my fingers just like this, you can see? Mm -hmm. So it's like locking my fingers in like this, right? Yeah. A barrier right here across the top, yes. okay? So the ring, you inspected that as well, that seems normal to you? Yeah. All right, so check it out. I'm gonna take the ring. Now, there's no way the ring can get down through the rubber band like this yeah. because the rubber band is like going across my fingers. Uh, so we're gonna see if we can use some magic. Check this out, count three. One, two, three. What? Three. <laughs> three. <laughs> three. Yeah. Anything check about that? Yeah. Rings normal. That was really cool. I'll teach you how it's done <laughs> right now. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal a secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here is how to set this up at home. All you're going to need is a ring and a rubber band. It's super easy to do. So you're gonna take a rubber band and you're gonna put it on your fingers just like this. It's better to use these little thin rubber bands. It's gonna put it around each finger and then twist in the middle like this. Insert the next finger, twist, twist. So now this is what you wanna have before the trick starts with the rubber band looped around your fingers just like this so that there's no way the ring can get down on your finger. Now what's key is when they examine the ring, you're going to slip your finger out and just put it behind just like that. So that from this side, it really looks convincing that it's still around your finger. So now you can put the ring here and all you have to do is move your finger forward slightly as you slide the ring down and it looks like the ring has magically penetrated through the rubber band. You can then slip the rubber band off your fingers, hand it out for examination and then hand out the ring for examination as well. It's a super easy trick that you can do with a couple things from around the house. Try it out at home. Alright, I have a really cool trick to show you with this little plastic sword here. Okay, you can check it out. <laughs> it's very tiny. Also have a little plastic ring. See? Yeah. The sword and the ring go together go right through just like that. You can see the sword goes through the little ring yeah. just like that. That is key to the trick that you understand that the sword goes through the ring. So check this out. I'm going to take the little ring and slide it on my finger okay. just like this. Okay. And we're going to take the little plastic sword. sword. <laughs> I'm going to put it down through the ring. Watch. I just press hard. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it looks like it's going yeah, right it so through gross. my finger. Oh. That. Uh, <laughs> that looks so gross. Watch. Just check this out. I just take the sword. Uh... I just pull it right out. Check it out. There's no wound to the finger yep. whatsoever. Check it out. Yeah, I don't like it. No, that was too gross. Okay, here is how you do the sword through the finger trick. This is a super easy one. There's actually no danger involved. The little plastic sword never really even touches your finger. The secret is all contained inside this little plastic ring. The sword actually goes through the outside of the ring just like this. You can see the sword go right through that little channel and out the other side. So it's totally self-working magic. All you have to do is slip the little ring on your finger and slide the sword through and it looks like it goes right through your finger just like that. You can even move it back and forth to gross them out. It really looks like it's going through there. And then 
pull it right out, pull the ring off your finger, and look, there's no hole through your finger. It's completely healed. You can get this trick for free by going to EvanerraTV.com and placing an order. All you have to do is place any order, any amount, and we will give you this trick for free. We will be giving these away while supplies last, so get in while you can. All you have to do is order any other item on the shop and pay shipping. Okay, V, I have a really cool trick to show you with this newspaper. So check this out. I have empty hands here. It's a normal newspaper. Uh, will you do me a favor and just hold out your hands for me? Like this. Just like that. Or... So I'm going to take the newspaper and I'm going to ball it up like this, okay? Okay. I'm going to make a newspaper ball. All right? So your job is to catch the newspaper ball. Put your hands oh. together. Perfect. All right? So we're going to take the ball and we're actually going to see if we can use some magic to make the newspaper ball heavy. Watch. <laughs> Ow! How is it so heavy? <laughs> it's just newspaper. Why would you? <laughs> okay, here is how you pull this one off at home. All you need is a piece of newspaper and a big heavy ball. This is a shot. It's for the track and field game shot put. And it's basically just throwing a big heavy ball as far as you possibly can. So the way we're gonna do this is we're going to hide the shot put underneath our arm and secretly load it into the newspaper as we crumble it up into a ball. Now you can do this without handing it to an audience member as the shot put is really heavy. You could just drop it on the table and people can hear and like kind of how heavy it is. It's a really crazy way to make it seem like you just magically changed the weight of a ball of paper. And with your new sleight of hand skills, you can pull it off right in front of their eyes. Okay, so I actually have a trick that I want to show you. Oh, okay, let's see it. Yeah, okay. So, I have a cup. Okay. Check that out. Got empty, it. nonetheless. Seems legit, okay. yes. Okay, yes, empty audience. Okay, check this water bottle. Simple water bottle, a little water in it. Got it, yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna do a really cool trick. You just watch. I'm watching. Okay. You guys watching. It's really cool. Okay, all the water into the cup. Okay, got it in there? Ready? Yep. I'm watching. Oh! <laughs> it's gone. Head. Look. Where'd it go? Okay. That's crazy. That was really good. Yeah! Thank you! You fun. heard it. <laughs> so the secret to this trick is actually getting a cup that you can't see through and a bottle of water or another liquid that you have. It's actually all about the angle that they see it from. So you set the cup on the edge of the table. So sitting at a table, I have the cup right here. You are gonna pour the water bottle or the water, the liquid right over the cup but you're going to go past it right here and into your lap. So you actually pour the liquid behind the cup into your lap and to the audience, it looks like you're pouring it into the cup. Then you can lift your cup and show the audience that there's nothing inside. And the water magically disappears. Put on your shoes on time. Oh, uh, yep, sure is. Huh, uh, let me see if I can use a little magic to fix that. You ready? Mm -hmm. Watch the shoelace. If I just kinda kick it like this and just it kind of looks like it just... How is it tied? Isn't that cool? Okay, here is how you set up the self-tying shoelace trick. You're going to need some shoelaces and a shoe. You're also going to need to be wearing long pants for this trick. So you're going to take the first shoelace and lace it into the shoe just like this. This is going to go on your foot and it's going to get tied just like this. You want to tie it all the way at the top in a standard knot. Just like that. Now this is going to get hidden up underneath the cuff of your pants before the trick starts. That's how it looks like the shoelace is untied. Then we're going to further enhance that illusion by adding this extra shoelace hanging out of our pants just like this. Now you're also going to attach another shoelace or piece of string to the other end of these separate shoelaces. This is going to run up your pant leg and be connected inside your pocket so that you can pull it up to make the shoelaces retract up into your pants. So the shoelaces retracting up into your pants combined with the motion of you shaking your foot back and forth is going to expose the pre-tied shoelace underneath making it look like you've just magically tied your shoe in an instant. Try this out at home and fool your friends and family. Okay, I have a really cool trick to show you with two safety pins. I see. They're two identical size safety pins. Take note of that. Yes. 
Hold out one of your hands for me, please. Just like that. One of the safety pins is gonna go right there. The other one's gonna be held right here. Okay. And now watch, if I just take the safety pin and I wave it like this, it looks like it just magically shrinks Aww. into a little <laughs> tiny safety pin. Just it's like so that, you see. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Isn't that cool? Let's see, here, hold this one. Okay, so take nice. it and... <sighs> what? Stretch it. Right back you... into a full size safety pin. Can like I see? Yeah. What? Did you see? That was amazing. That was cool. Okay, here is the explanation to the magic safety pin trick. So one safety pin is normal, the other safety pin has a secret. So it's got a little head of a safety pin that will slide up and down this safety pin just like that. So little arms of the safety pin hold the extra head right there and you're gonna conceal that with your fingers at the beginning of the trick. And then when you shake it, all you're going to do is twist it and reposition just like that and it looks like the safety pin has just magically shrunk into a tiny safety pin. You can continue to shrink it down even further by just sliding it down the safety pin and concealing this part with your fingers. So you can make a super tiny little safety pin just like this and then to make it stretch all you're gonna do is pull the extra head down off just like that, palm it into your hand and make it look like you stretched the safety pin back into its original size. All right Ava, I have a fun challenge for you. It's a magic yeah. challenge. You ready? Yes. All right. I like challenges. So right here, I have two magic paper inchworms. Check it out. Here's how they work. Let me show you. We each get a straw. Yes. We each get an inchworm. Now, here's how you make your inchworm across the table. Let me show you. That cool? <laughs> All you do is just blow right there. It's over and over. I thought we'd have a race. All right, so we've got our inchworms lined up here for our magic inchworm challenge. So before we go, vote in the comment section, Evan, Team Evan, or Team Ava? Or Team Ava Unicorn. <laughs> so vote in the comment section, Team Evan Magic or Team Ava Unicorn. Whoever you think is going to win the inchworm race, vote now. All right, you ready? On your mark, get set, inch. You won. Mine gave up. Congratulations, Team Ava Unicorn is the winner of the Magic Inchworm Challenge. So we'll show you how to make a paper inchworm at home right now. So this is really easy to set up. All you need is a strip of paper just like this. It's about a one inch by four or five inch strip. And then you fold it in half once like that. Then you're gonna fold it into thirds. So where it's at right here, you're just gonna fold that once and then again the opposite way. So into thirds, so it's like a Z. Once you've got it folded like that, you're gonna unfold it. You're gonna unfold it like this, and here's how you want the folds to go. One valley fold, like this. One valley, then a mountain. So one mountain, then another mountain, then another mountain, and then a valley. So it's two valley folds on the end, and then three mountain folds in the middle. And then you can bend the little ears of the caterpillar just like that. Now once you have it bent like this, all you have to do is take a drinking straw and blow towards the back two panels just like this, the ones that are arched up. And they'll inch across the table just like that. It looks really magical. It looks like the paper just comes to life and becomes like a living inchworm. It's really cool. And you want to make sure you're blowing down towards the table, not like over like this. It'll just naturally move forward because of the folds of the paper. So make some paper inchworms at home, try it out, challenge your friends and family to races and see who wins. Okay, Via, I have a really cool trick to show you with this little ball of paper right here. See okay. it right there, a crumpled up ball of paper? Yeah. Also, I have nothing in my hands that's important as well. Yeah. Okay, watch, I'm gonna sit the little ball of paper on this hand right here, and on the count of three, you're gonna see something kind of crazy happen, okay, watch. Okay. One. Right two. Three. <laughs> what? 
completely disappears. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <right>. Yeah. <laughs> I'll teach you how it's done right now. So the secret to the magic disappearing ball of paper trick is actually really simple, but you need a partner to help you with this trick. The secret is this right here. Make it float. You're gonna have a friend above you with a piece of invisible thread attached to the little paper ball so that when you go up like this on the count of three, one, two, three, on the one or the two, your friend up there is gonna pull the string, it'll float up out of the audience's view, and then on three, it looks like it just magically vanishes into thin air. They're gonna look around on the ground and you throw it behind you, something like that. They won't find it anywhere. It's super easy to do. Try setting it up at home and fool your friends and family. Hey B, you wanna play a card game? Not really. Not right now. <laughs> you don't? No. You don't want to play cards? No. All right, well, let's see. Um, maybe we have a different kind of game inside this box. Check it out if I reach okay. inside. It kind of loops. <gasps> what? Into the Rubik's Cube. How would that fit Sorry. in a cardboard box? How would that fit in there? I can never solve these. You can just play cards. Oh, you want to play cards now? Yeah. All you need to pull this off is a card box. That is the box from a deck of playing cards and one of these. This is not a normal Rubik's Cube. This is a sponge Rubik's Cube. It's made out of squishy foam material, just like a sponge ball. So it looks like a normal Rubik's Cube, but you can compact it down like this and it can fit inside the card box. Just gonna squeeze it inside. And then once you have it loaded inside the card box, that's pretty much it. You can then just reach inside. Kinda wanna cover the opening and pull out what appears to be a full-size Rubik's Cube. Super easy trick that you can pull off at home. Stay tuned for the end of the video for a special giveaway if you want to win a foam Rubik's Cube. Okay, for this last one, we have a really cool trick with a fire extinguisher. So it's a really cool illusion. It's a full-size functional fire extinguisher. You can check it out on all sides. Now look, I'm gonna sit on the table just like this. I also have a hand towel. It's a normal hand towel. You can see on both sides. And my hands are completely empty, okay? So check it out. We're gonna take the hand towel. No trickery here, no camera cuts. You can see it go in front of the fire extinguisher just like this. Now watch, if I raise the towel up in front of the fire extinguisher, it looks like it just magically shrinks into a tiny fire extinguisher just like that. Check it out. Look. Cool. It makes fire. I'll show you the secret right now. Then you can take the tiny fire extinguisher, put it back on the table, take your hand towel. Now watch. All you have to do is put it back down like this, and it looks like it just magically grows back into a full fire extinguisher just like that. Now the secret to this trick is having a friend hiding underneath the table who's going to help you out. When you raise the towel up, they're going to grab the full-size fire extinguisher and lower it beneath the table just like that under the cover of the towel. Once they've taken the big one below the table, they're going to load the little one right back up into place just like that. Now all that happens while the towel is up in front of it so they don't see it happen and it looks like it just magically shrinks or grows right in front of the audience's eye. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and share it with someone you think might like it as well. And it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the magic props from this video. All you have to do to win is leave a comment in the comment section down below and give the video a thumbs up. The more comments you leave on the video, the better your chances of winning because we'll be going through the comment section, picking random comments and mailing the magic to you so that you can perform these amazing tricks at home. And it's time to announce the giveaway winners from our last How To Magic video. The winners are magically appearing on the screen right here. Congratulations to our winners. Be sure to send an email address with your full mailing address to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit the thumbs up on the video, it really helps, and leave your comments down below in the comment section. If you missed the last episode of How To Magic, you can catch up by watching it right over there. Our shop is right down there if you want to grab some merch and support the channel. Get a free sword through the finger trick with every order on EvanaraTV.com while supplies last. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.